It became an unfortunate theme of the summer. Strong storms taking out power for tens of thousands of people in Metro Detroit, some for as long as a week or more. Tonight, Michigan's Attorney General is revealing her plans to hold utility companies accountable for those outages. She wants to put more money in your pocket, and she sat down with Help Me Hank to talk about how she plans on getting it done. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester joins us live this evening, and Hank, the AG is really passionate about this. And Karen, Jason, absolutely right. Michigan's AG is frankly ticked off. She understands why so many of you are frustrated. It's been one heck of a summer, many outages. She wants more answers from DTE and consumers, and she also wants more money in your pocket. The storms this summer, they've been wild and they've wreaked havoc all over the area. Trees down, power out. It has been a nightmare. And it says, oh, I'm sorry, but it'll be restored by Sunday and then it Every day it's going to Monday, then Tuesday, then finally say Wednesday. The latest rounds of storms taxing on not only consumers, but on DTE. Crews called in from all over to assist. DTE's president on the ground aware this one was a doozy. Storm came through about 4 o'clock on Wednesday. I expect we're going to have it largely completed on Sunday. We've got some pretty extensive damage in areas, and those pockets are going to take longer for our teams to restore. While the majority of the 900,000 affected customers were restored by that Sunday timeline, roughly 40,000 remained in the dark still Monday night. People who lost all their groceries checked into hotels and were left wondering when the power would come back on. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel wants to hear from you. Her team just launching this opportunity for you to share your outage story. It's an online August power outage feedback form. You share your story. The AG uses that information to learn the best way to work with DTE to prevent these problems and to give you more money. That'll better serve us when we go to the Michigan Public Service Commission. And obviously my office has the authority to intervene in all of those cases. And so we can make those claims on behalf of consumers all around the state. One thing the AG wants now, money for you. Right now, after Nessel and Governor Whitmer sent letters to DTE and consumers, credits were increased. DTE from 25 to 125, consumers now offering $25. And in regards to the latest round of bad weather, your power had to be out for 120 consecutive hours to be eligible because this weather event was considered non-catastrophic. Would you like to see a rate freeze? I think we're going to have to evaluate whether a rate freeze is necessary. What I will say is this. I think that the company should be accounting for how their rate increases have been spent. DTE and consumers both spend millions on system upgrades and DTE has significantly stepped up the tree trimming program. But Nesso wants real numbers and real insight into how the money is being used and what will be done to limit outages in the future. And I think there should be greater accountability because what we know is we have some of the highest rates for utilities in the United States and some of the worst service, and that can't continue. So what can you do? Well, if another big storm leaves you in the dark, contact DTE and consumers daily. Inform them that you're without power. Use Twitter. It's an effective, quick way to communicate with these busy teams. Document everything, the length of the outage, and everything you lost as a result. And contact the AG. AG Nessel and her team want to know how you're impacted so they can work on solutions. And so far, at least 4,000 people have filled out that survey for the Attorney General. You can get more information on the AG's website. I did receive a very detailed statement from DTE. I want to share part of it with you right now. It reads, DTE is actively working in the community's hardest hit by these recent storms to improve our service while also accelerating efforts to reduce future outages for all our customers. That full statement right now at ClickOnDetroit.com. I also reached out to Consumers Energy, but we did not receive a response. We're live here tonight downtown. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. All right, we appreciate the work. Thank you, Hank.